Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back. This is Daryl Dorsey at uh, JTEC Institution. Today I'm working with a 2012 Mike Force and I'm going to do a pre-alignment check. So uh, I want you guys to walk with me. It's going to be a long procedure. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get in the cab. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the steering plate here. First thing you want to do is you want to look up the manufacturing specs for whatever, whatever vehicles you're working on. This one here is an 18-inch stern wheel, and what I'm doing make a little slight little mark right here, and I'm going to measure the steering plate. The steering plate is two and a quarter for this car, and what we have here is two and a quarter. That's great. That's great. Okay. I'm going to get down. Step in getting down. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm going to go in the front here, and I'm going to check all my components out. First, one, first thing you want to do, you want to check your steering gear for any type of leaks, uh, any type of looseness. You take your your, 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 uh, your steering column for any any type of play. Make sure it's greased. Make sure you get, take your U front, your your U joints. Make sure they don't have any slackings in there. Make sure they properly greased. Check check your uh, this, this this slip rod and make sure that it's don't have any play or anything in it. Then you want to check your, your pitment arm. You want to check all your carriage bolts and make sure all the cotter pins are inside of them and that they're, they're tight and in, in they're in, in position. Uh, you want to check your, your drag link. Check your drag your, your drag link. Then you want to check all your you want to check your cross tube. You want to check your uh, tie rod ends for any type of play inside the tie rod end. It's hard to see up in here, but you have your tie rod ends down there. You want to check them. And make sure that their carriage bolts and carter pin is in place and, and tighten. Uh, make sure it properly greased. Like I said, I can't emphasize that enough. Make sure it properly good greased. And you have your ball joints. You want to check them. They ain't too visible that you can see. But you want to check. You want to check all your your steering components. You want to check your leaf spring. Make sure it ain't have any type of splaling. What what they're coming apart. Your you your you your you bolts. Well, you joints, oh, uh, you both joints. Sorry about that. And you want to check them. The good way to check them is sometimes tap them with a hammer and make sure they don't have any type of hollow sound that's coming out of it. Check your shocks. See if it have any. If it's leaking, uh, if it have any type of if slackness or uh, uh, any type of rust or slackness that's in there, uh, you want to check for that. Make sure it's, it's tight and pop properly secure. And a lot of times when they're going bad, you'll see oil seeping from them. That's not all the time, but an indication, but you, you want to check all that. You definitely want to check your, uh, your tire thread depth. In the front, you want to no less than uh, the four to four and 30 seconds. For the front, you want to check all that. You want to check all your air pressure and make sure they're all properly air pressure. On the side of the tire, I'll tell you, uh, I miss PSI that should be inside the tire, so you want to look that up and make sure all the tires you want to keep the proper the same threads on each front end of the tire. You want to make sure they both have proper threads on each uh, end of the tire. And we'll go to the back, back here. And what you do in the back, you do the same thing. You check all the you check the, the, the uh, uh, leaf spring, finish planing. You check, check the shocks again. Once again, you check your shocks, and you make sure you check your tire depth in the back. It shouldn't be no less than uh, two thirty seconds tire threads. And with well, these, they look pretty brand new. You can tell it's been more than that. And you want to make sure all the PSI are the same in all the tires. Last thing we want to do is you want to check, you want to check your your rod height. That, you measure from here to here. You get this number. Like I said, you check for uh, you check your manual, your, 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 your manual for whatever vehicle you're working on. You get the proper specs for it. You measure from here to here. Outside the tire to the center of the tire. And what you do is you subtract them numbers, and it'll come up with your wire height. After you do all of that, what you want to do is check all your airbags. You want to check any type of 
uh, cracking or uh, any type of cracking in there and uh, disfiguration or whatever you want to check all your air airbags these look pretty new check them for any type of visual damage also 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 before I forget definitely check your tires and the outside of your tires for any any type of zipping uh, uh, crackling anything like that um, you'll go around the whole vehicle and you'll check all the shocks and do that same procedure all over again to make sure your airbags, your shocks, you want to check your leaf springs, your dew joints, bolts. Uh, you make sure all of them is properly, properly secured and tightened and grease also. Make sure they all, they all grease and you do the same thing with the front. Go around the whole the whole vehicle and do a, 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 a thorough inspection. Make sure everything is lubricated, everything is tightened. Make sure all the leaf springs, the shocks, the U joints, your cross tube, uh, your tie rod ends, and like you see, you see how the grease coming out uh, right here. Just make sure it's properly greased. Make sure everything properly is good. And main important thing, your main, your main important thing, like I say, start from checking your your play in, in, in your steering wheel, then you can check all your components. Now I hope this helped any of you guys out there that, that do any type of inspection or pre alignment inspection on your vehicle. This is Darren at JTech. And like my video, share, comment, and see you next time, guys.